Hey all, just want to walk through a few changes to the channel. You've already seen some of these already, so hopefully not a big surprise, and just reformatting things, still bringing you analysis of anime, so no changes to the direction of the channel, just tweaking things around a little bit. Uh, so a few things we're going to talk about here today. There is the, the new formats. Uh, you've seen the analysis videos and the roundtable videos. We'll talk more about those. And then we'll talk about some changes to the schedule, just moving things around a little bit in the week. And then finally, I've got a Patreon, and we'll talk about that in a minute. So first off, let's talk about those new formats. Uh, and again, as you've probably seen, the absurdly in-depth analysis videos, those have a new format where I'm 50 years in the future after a soft apocalypse, sitting in a broadcast tower talking about uh, anime. And I'm really enjoying that format, that structure. I'm hoping to bring a little bit more uh, plot to that. So this will be a little bit of a story moving through the episodes. Uh, just kind of playing around, something different, something uh, new to uh, kind of um, just make the videos more interesting for me and hopefully also the audience. So the, the main format there is just an introduction. Uh, I'm going to try to expand that so there's a bit more information about the show itself and the episode during that introduction, then we move on to the actual analysis, and then a little something at the end. So that's kind of the idea there. I might add some more segments to that in the future as I have time, but uh, nothing just yet. Please give me your feedback on that. Please let me know in the comments what you think of that new format and how you'd like to change that, any improvements you'd like to see in that format. I'm very open to that. Um, so that's the Broadcast 0T4KU uh, in-depth analysis videos. The other thing is the roundtable, so I've shifted around the news so that instead of doing a look at all the news of the week or a bunch of different stories of the week, we're really focusing in on the one or two stories where we can really have something interesting to say, we can really analyze that and provide something really useful. Uh, there are plenty of places you can go to get the anime news, you know, animenewsnetwork.com obviously we use a lot of, and I think by honing in on something we can... Um, uh, really dive deep on, we provide a lot of value for that. So that's going to be the, the new focus for the roundtable. Again, just focusing on something really, really uh, specific there. Again, feedback, very much welcome on that. Uh, and on ways that we can find news more effectively, you have things to actually talk about better, very open to that as well. Um, so that's the, the plan there. Those are the two main kinds of videos I foresee uploading to the, to the channel for the next little while as that settles down. The Broadcast 0T4KU episodes and the roundtable as we get news. One important thing on that, um, we're not necessarily going to do a roundtable every week. Uh, I don't think there's always necessarily something of note to talk about, and I don't want to artificially create a video and just find something to talk about. I really want to wait until there's something of, of note. So I don't know what the frequency of the roundtable is going to be. I don't know exactly what our threshold is going to look like in the future, but just FYI, you're not going to see a new roundtable every single week necessarily. Uh, that's the big thing there on those two formats. Again, feedback very much welcome. Um, all right, let's switch back and talk about the tweaks to the schedule. So just rearranging when things are happening and where they're happening. Um, doing a couple of different things there. Basically, we're going to continue uh, streaming on Twitch on Sundays. That's unchanged. The roundtable will go out on Mondays. So basically, if we have a news segment, uh, if we have a roundtable episode, we'll record that on Sundays, and then we'll post that the next day on, on Monday so it's available to everybody to, to look at as quickly as possible. Um, the 0T4KU segments are going to go out on YouTube on Sundays, but they're going to go out a week later. So we're going to sort of shift those uh, a, a little bit further. That means if you want to watch it live, you can check that out on the Twitch stream on Sundays, but then that video will actually be showing up on YouTube a week after the streaming of it. Right now it shows up a day later on YouTube, just pushing that back by a week. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is that, frankly, it's difficult to manage all of the scheduling of posting when things are, and I'll have to get to it in a minute in the Patreon. It makes things even more complicated because I can't really schedule things ahead of time the way I used to. And I think it's actually better for the channel to just have things kind of generally going out on the same uh, cadence, especially in a, in a particular episode, kind of episode to go out on, on the same cadence. 
So I want to shift those back to Sundays. Those analysis videos will come out on Sundays uh, instead of on Mondays. Again, not a, not a big shift, just you're going to see those coming out. Um, uh, there's going to be kind of a gap of six days for an, uh, an episode as we shift to that new schedule. Uh, that's the big thing there. So again, still uh, live streaming on Twitch on Sunday nights, and then roundtable ep uh, episodes going out the following day, and then what we stream on Sundays for analysis will go out the following week. That's the plan there. Nothing too huge, but just FYI. Um, from there, let's go and talk about the Patreon. So yeah, I have a Patreon now, and we've got two different tiers, uh, $1 tier and $5 tier. Now, first thing, I'm not starving. Right, don't worry about that. I can still keep doing YouTube videos. That's not what this is about. I am pursuing how to make this channel more central to what I do and more important, frankly. And Patreon is a way I can do that. So this is not a sales pitch to pressure you into being part of Patreon. Otherwise, I'm gonna shut down the channel or anything. Don't worry about that. But I do wanna offer a uh, an easy kind of uh, uh, way into the channel. So if you go to Patreon, I'll have the link down in the description. Uh, at the $1 tier, you will get thanked in the end credits of videos. And we'll also open that up with polls asking you all what you want us to analyze next. So for those 0T4KU absurdly in-depth analysis videos, uh, we will poll the $1 and up Patreon supporters to ask them what we should analyze next. Uh, now this is not gonna be um, something where you can vote for absolutely any anime ever. We'll kind of focus it down on the things that we can provide value in, right? Uh, we're not gonna analyze something that's just kind of pointless. Um, but we are going to open that up to you all to vote and we will respect those votes. So that will be coming up actually pretty soon for the next thing we do after um, the next Thing we do anyway uh, that'll be fairly soon so if you want to uh, get a chance and get your vote in on those uh, that's the one dollar tier on patreon there's also a five dollar tier on patreon and that actually gets you early access to the analysis videos obviously we can't do the roundtable news videos early because it's the news but we actually record those ahead of time and so you will get access to those videos a week before we even stream them live on twitch so if you would like early access to those analysis videos, again, one week early, that's the $5 a month tier on Patreon. That's all we got, and those are the options there. And again, if you have suggestions and for improvements on that, please give me those down there in the comments. Uh, would love to get ideas on how to expand and grow this. I'm hoping that this is a fun way for you all to contribute and for potentially me to maybe uh, move this in interesting directions in the future. But uh, yeah, that's, you know, I'm trying to make this as low commitment as possible. Dollar a month or up, you get to vote on what we can analyze next, um, as well as a credit. And then um, $5 a month, uh, you get access to the broadcast Otaku uh, 0T4KU episodes one week early. So it's kind of fun to be able to, to look at that ahead of time and get our thoughts. So that's the changes, that's the new Patreon. Again, link down below to that if you're interested. That's what's changing on the channel. Again, nothing huge, just shifting our focus a little bit. So thank you all for being part of this. I really do appreciate your comments and your feedback. Um, I, this, I, I do this because I want to share with other people and kind of help them on their otaku journeys. So. Thank you, and uh, I look forward to seeing you all on our next stream. See you.